types and PHP. So PHP is a dynamically typed language, uh, similar to maybe JavaScript uh, or Python that you may have used, uh, meaning that at runtime, PHP knows the types of any expression. Okay, it knows if a variable is currently holding a string or an int. Uh, however, at compile time, it doesn't know that. Um, or I guess there isn't a notion of compile time. Um, so that's different than you might remember from Java, where at compile time, you, the program, have to say, hey, this variable here is only going to go hold an int. This function over here is only going to return a string. Um, and it has to be given a Boolean or something like that. Uh, in PHP, the same variable can be holding a string for a while, then later it can be holding a Boolean or whatever. Uh, you have a function that might sometimes return a string, and then other times you pass in different inputs and it returns an array of numbers or something like that. Um, so it's dynamically typed, uh, as you may have seen with JavaScript and Python. So, um, some of the people say PHP is untyped, and that's not correct. PHP is definitely typed. Uh, however, PHP sort of gets that reputation partly because more than other languages, uh, even more than other dynamically typed languages, it plays real fast and loose with types. It does a lot of conversions for you. So let's go ahead and start a uh, PHP interpreter running here, Interactive Shell. Um, and we already saw last time that we saw something like uh, echo hello plus world, um, which in Java we might think plus is overloaded. It takes in either two numbers or two strings. In PHP, plus very plausibly only adds numbers. Okay, um, so you might think this will be a, an error. Well, in PHP, uh, it juggles its types. It tries really hard to convert the strings into numbers for you. And somehow it's converting hello and world into the numbers. It's con converting them both into zero, as a matter of fact, um, which seems odd. Uh, let's try some other things. I mean, 12 plus 3 is 15, of course. Echo the string 12 plus the number 3. I guess should, I should say the string 1, 2. It's a string, not a, a number, so it's a bunch of characters strung together. Um, so echo one, two plus three, uh, and that comes back as 15. It converted the string into a number for me. And you know, if you're doing a lot of work with um, string inputs coming from, say, web pages, being sent over a, a web uh, uh, internet packet, uh, you get a, a string, and you're like, hey, I want to convert all these uh, data that the people typed in. They typed in their age as one, two. I'm going to convert that to the number 12. PHP goes and tries to do that for you. Uh, Java also does that for you in, in some situations. Inside a system app print line, if you use plus, it will, if you put it this way, if you use plus in Java with a number and a string, it will go ahead and do certain conversions for you that may or may not be expected. Um, PHP tends to go particularly far. Uh, echo, I can take the string one, two, plus the string three, and that's also going to give me 15. Um, Echo 12 monkeys plus three little pigs also gives me 15. Okay, that's weird. Um, here's what's going on. Uh, in fact, I can even say 12m plus or 12m plus 3lp, uh, and that also gives me 15. What the heck? Uh, when PHP tries to convert a number to a string, it takes it starts at the beginning of the string and reads as many digits as it can and grabs all of those. Okay, so and then it stops. Uh, so you can say m12 plus three gives that turns into zero plus three. Okay, um, so I, I guess that's fair enough. Echo hello. It reads all the strings it can off the all the digits it can off the front of that string. Doesn't find any. Immediately stops and says, "Yeah, I got zero out of there." So, oops. <laughs> well, okay. Echo hello gives me hello back. Of course, hello plus three gave me zero plus three. Okay. So, uh, PHP has types. It does type conversions for you. 
It has all the standard types, Boolean, uh, I can say echo true. Uh, well, I'll do that in a second. Uh, you have Boolean, you have integers and floats, uh, floating point. Uh, you have arrays, uh, we'll talk about that next time. Uh, it does not actually have individual characters, it only has strings of length one, which kind of makes you wonder, gosh, a string is a bunch of things strung together. Well, in Java, a string is a bunch of chars strung together. What's being strung together in PHP if I don't have a type char? Anyway, uh, we live with it. Um, okay, I'll go in here and echo true. And this is weird. I thought I'd, the letters T-R-U-E might come back uh, for true. When it tries to print it, it converts true to a... Um, I'm not even sure what's converting it to, a string, a number, I don't know. Uh, echo false. Let's try this. It looks like nothing happened. Something absolutely happened. Uh, this turned into zero. Okay, uh, false turned into zero, which turned into the empty string. Okay. So, uh, yeah, kind of interesting. Echo is not very handy. Uh, echo the empty string. Looks like, again, nothing is there. Uh, var dump is something that's built into the language that's a little bit more handy. So var dump of the string hello, and it tells you it's a string, it even tells you it's length five, and gives you that var dump of true, comes back with a Boolean true. So it knows about true and false, it's not always good about printing them, but it knows about true false. Uh, when it tries to print false, it turns it into the empty string. When it tries to print true, it turns it into the number one, which maybe then it turns into a string. I'm not sure what's going on, why echo true prints as one, but something's happening there. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have these different types in PHP. Uh, the conversions are a little bit surprising sometimes. We just talked about the number conversion there. Uh, it turns out uh, what is considered true-ish and false-ish in PHP is also kind of odd, uh, and there's other equality. So how about echo, um, let me go to var dump, var dump, and I'm going to look at 2 plus 3 equal equal 5. So I'm putting this whole thing in the middle, uh, 2 plus 3 equals 5. That's a Boolean expression, right? Equal uh, takes in two numbers and either says yes or no. So this actually comes back and gives back the Boolean true. Okay. So var dump. I should mention, by the way, var dump is not the sort of thing you tend to use inside your programs. You tend to use it while debugging in the shell here, but it does not itself return a value. It's not itself something you use. And the name var dump is an awful name. Uh, this has nothing to do with variables. This is a val dump. I'd be happy with that name. Uh, it takes any value and tells you the information about that value. Uh, to confuse variables and values, that's a very deep misconception of variables can hold a value. It's the difference between the bucket and what's in the bucket. Uh, PHP documentation at several places confuses values with variables. They say variable when they mean any value. Anyway, okay. Um, var dump of, well, how about this? Uh, is zero equal to, so if we saw the conversions before, uh, the string two, three, four, Sorry, the number 234 and the string 234. Are those considered equal? Equal equal comes back and said, yep, they're equal. Var dump of uh, zero and the string zero. Okay, so fair enough. Um, zero and the string zero zero. Yeah, that comes back as true. Uh, I can say things like, you know, dash zero zero. Um, and that comes back as true. Uh, okay, so zero is equal equal to the string zero zero. Uh, var dump the string zero zero is. Uh, let me phrase this just right. Um, false is equal equal to the string zero. Okay, this is a little bit weird, but. In a Boolean context, I think it's taking the string zero. Uh, I'm going to just actually say false equal equal zero. Number zero 
in a Boolean sense counts as false, and so it says, yeah, false equal equal zero. Okay, they're both false-ish, they're the same. Uh, var dump, uh, we already saw that zero is equal equal to the string zero, zero, but, so false equals zero, zero equals the string zero, zero, but var dump is false equal equal to the string zero, zero. Now, by the transitive property, it should be. False is equal to zero, zero is equal to string zero, zero. As you may have guessed, no. They, those are not equal, equal to each other. We're violating the transitive property. This is really shocking. You might write code where you just assumed, hey, variable A is equal, equal to variable B, and later on you check that variable B is equal, equal to variable C, and you might say, oh, well, I know that variable A is equal, equal to variable C, and it may not be the case. So this is PHP going too far. It's trying to uh, do type conversions for you, but it, it, it does too much, okay? Um, we got uh, other ways of violating the, uh, uh, the transitive property here. We can say that uh, da, 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 we already have false equal equals zero. Uh, and I know that bar dump uh, zero, zero equal equal zero point zero. Uh, so you might say var dump of uh, false and this um, uh, var zero, zero point zero is the string zero point zero. That's the one I meant to type, sorry. Okay, comes back as true, fair enough. Um, but is false equal equal to 0.0, .0 and this one comes back as false. So the string 0 is false-ish, and 0 is false-ish, false -ish, but the string 0.0, .0 is not, and the string 0, 0 is not false-ish. Uh, yeah, this is not a recipe for something. PHP does not have your back, okay? Um, so you know, I've seen that in other ways already. Uh, which is one reason why we, what flag do we turn on at the beginning of all our our PHP programs? What function do we call? Error reporting. Set error reporting to true. Call that at the beginning of every function. Okay, um, here's what I want you to do about types. Don't use equal equal. PHP provides another thing. Uh, zero, zero, equal, equal, equal the string zero. This does what we want it to. This says, hey, zero is not the same as the string zero, and we get back the fact that they're not the same, uh, which is what we want. Uh, equal, equal, equal checks for equality, suppressing any type checking. Try to get in the habit with your PHP code. We're stuck using this language that does not have our back. Get in the habit of uh, using equal, equal, equal instead of equal, equal. Okay. And by the way, its uh, neighbor or its uh, complement is for not equal suppressing type conversions. Is zero not equal to the string zero? Yeah, they're not equal. I use bang equal equal. So triple equal and bang equal equal. Use those all the time. If you want to con do a type conversion, great. Go ahead and do casting. You, there's the casting syntax. I have a link in the notes, uh, and it works more or less just like uh, you'd expect from Java, you put the name of the type in parentheses before the expression. Uh, great, do the casting yourself. If you have a string and you want to know whether or not you can convert it to a number or not, there is something called is numeric. So I can call echo is numeric of the string four, five, six, and get back true. I guess I should do var dump to really show me that it's true, not nothing to do with the, the number one. Okay. Um, and if I say 4, 5, 6, x, y, z, which in, again in arithmetic expression, 4, 5, 6, x, y, z probably does give a, will be converted to a number, I probably don't want that. This is not really a numeric string. And the function is numeric does what I want. It says 4, 5, 6, x, y, z is not a numeric thing. If somebody entered their age as 4, 5, 6, x, y, z, call it is numeric. Hey, it's not numeric. Don't try to convert this to a number. Um, or if you really want to, Go ahead and cast it to an int, and you'll get 4 for 156. Uh, but that's probably not what you want here, even. So, Okay, so the upshot, 
uh, PHP is dynamically typed, it does too much type casting for you, too much type conversion for you. Uh, it actually introduces bugs, uh, weird things. We don't have the transitive property anymore. Um, so the upshot use triple equals, cast when you want to cast, and use things like is numeric. There's another function in the libraries is string, is this, is that. Uh, you can use those if you really have a value and want to tell, have an if statement to figure out what type it is. Don't rely on the built-in casting and don't use equal equal. Thank you.